Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. There's a lot of tweets and reports and social media chatter that the Real Housewives of Atlanta started filming, and we don't believe it to be true. Remember, just last week and then two days ago, I reminded y'all that they kind of pushed back filming, that it's not going to happen until early summer. Technically, we're not in the summertime. I mean, it feels like summer, but technically, you know, okay, it's just like spring, September, summer. Who knows? Anyways, um... Listen, so I say that to say, um, yeah, so I think it was logged in. Y'all know Georgia has like, you know, lists. They have like these official lists of like all of the productions that are in production. All of the productions that are in production um, in a log. And I believe it's publicly, publicly accessible. And so Real Housewives of Atlanta finally made it onto that list. And um, I think they're just around the corner they're in preparation but i don't think they officially started filming for real for real like that uh, let's see uh lovebscott.com exclusive the real housewives of atlanta is not filming just yet we'll begin later this month even though radar online said early next month okay so listen it's just a whole bunch of mixed match information i'm gonna just need them to bring back my girls how rupaul said bring back my girls y'all i am so excited for the real housewives of atlanta i really don't care about nothing else except for atlanta like dead ass dead ass dead ass i want to see my peaches anyways uh love b scott they say we know the love muffins are excited about the future of the real housewives of atlanta and there's been some online chatter about filming for season 16 being underway however network sources have confirmed to love that filming has not yet begun and that production is scheduled to start later this month. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. Now, speaking of season 16, we do have Miss Portia, Portia, Portia. Yesterday, we found out that Portia is demanding her $40 million man husband by the name of Mr. Simon Gobadia pay $50,000 in lawyer's fees. Um. Let's see. Shout out to Radar Online because Radar Online, if you want every single detail on this Porsche and Simon. <coughs> Y'all, I choked. If you want every single detail on this Porsche and Simon divorce battle, Radar Online got you covered. Um, The headline says Porsche Williams ex Simon Guabadia scoffs at Robo Stars demand for $50,000 in ugly divorce war. How come we... The only thing that I'm questioning is how come we're never getting any judgments? Okay, we never hear of any judgments. All we hear is Portia asking for this. Portia's demanding this. Portia wants her man to move out the house. Portia wants this. Portia wants that. Simon wants the records. Simon wants communications from Bravo. Simon wants her out the house. Simon is asking a judge for this. Simon wants. And I'm just like, how long does it take for um the judge to make any sort of judgment, especially with the house situation? Like, is Portia going to live in the house? Is she not? It looks like she's planning on it. She's all over Amazon Live uh, talking about how she redecorating her closet and things like that. So it's like, ugh. Okay, so y'all let me know. But listen, it says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams, a strange husband, Simon Gobadia, asked that her demand for a five-figure sum to pay her divorce lawyers be shut down according to court documents obtained by radaronline.com simon said the bravo star was not entitled to a dime from him as they continue to fight over the validity of their prenuptial agreement okay and that's why they uh can't you know seem to come to an understanding as far as what's happening with this prenup because they don't even agree with the prenup. I want to read this prenup. Can we make the prenup, uh, you know, publicly accessible, please? Because shouldn't it be black and white? Why is there so much fuss over the prenup? Is it true that once one half, okay, one party of this marriage, once they foul, that Simon Gobadia needs to move out of the house within 30 days? Is it true that the prenup says that Portia can live in the home for two years? OK, is it true that the prenup says that you must pay her divorce uh, lawyer fees? Is it true? Why are we fighting over this? Did y'all both not sign this? Were you coerced into signing this? Did she forge your signature onto the document? I'm a little bit confused at the situation. Is it a valid uh, 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 contract? 
pause. Simon, in all seriousness, is probably going to argue that Portia married him and then divorced him just in the nick of time to reap the benefits of the prenup. Okay, sit on that. Anyways, so Simon said, uh uh uh, not so fast. You're not getting a dime out of me, Missy. Okay, go, digger. Okay, Simon Gobadia is uh, realizing that he's been sleeping with the enemy for the past two years. 14 months. Don't you dare say 15. Okay, but he says that she is not entitled to a dime, not a penny. Okay, not half of a cent from him as they continue to fight over the validity of their prenuptial agreement. In a recent, um, in a recent motion, Portia asked the court for 50K from Simon, her lawyer wrote, Wife has incurred and will continue to incur significant attorney's fees and expenses of litigation to defend against husband's motions, which include false statements and allegations. The request that husband be ordered to pay wife temporary attorney fees in the amount of 50K, given that his actions have caused wife to not only foul her request for immediate and emergency relief, but also to respond to the instant motion. Now, some uh, I saw some people saying, how's she going to ask? Uh, for her uh, lawyer's fees to be covered when she's the one that filed for a uh, divorce. Well, I personally believe that Simon forced her hand by not telling her the truth about the situation as far as his fraudulent past, those sham marriages, his fraudulent past with the immigration system, right? And um, him defrauding the American government. Listen, um, on the other end, Portia, why in the hell is you marrying a man that you don't know? Why is you marrying a man that you did not know? I'm a little bit confused at the situation now. She's at the mercy of him asking for $50,000. Okay. Simon is just going to tell the judge, well, you have a $1.8 million home in Duluth and you just got a new job with Bravo. Pay for it yourself. You greedy, greedy girl. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. This is a mess if I ever seen one. And I need Andy and a camera stat. I need Andy and a camera out there in Sandy Springs, Georgia, because I really want to know. Simon, stop being petty in film. Stop being petty in film. You know you want to be in front of the cameras. You know you want to tell your side of the story. You know you want to be Mr. Petty LaBelle. Portia, get over it. We need this TV, okay? We need this moment on TV. All right. Let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.